Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner and today I will be reviewing Wizard by Noel Quilter. Before we do this, please like, please subscribe, uh, share it if you like, just tell people about it, talk about it on the forums, that'll be lovely because I have not enough time to do my proper marketing. Because, uh, yeah, not very good at that. So if you could do it for me, that'd be great. And actually, I've got some work that needs doing around here. If you could pop in and do that as well, uh, that'd be awesome. And if you could pick the kids up uh, later on, that'd be great as well. Because uh, So if you could help me out and do all that kind of work for me, rather than, uh, rather than me doing it, that'd be fine. And then, after this, go and see onlinemagic.co. That is my spectacularly impressive online magic resource with... Uh, Six, 700 um, tutorial videos, live sessions, everything with uh, live guests, loads of stuff on there, and people love it. Have a look at the reviews. I've been working on a groundbreaking app that will stun the scientific community, and I want to share it with you guys right now in the most uh, sciencey way possible as the vehicle for a card trick. And then put the card face down when you're ready. All good? Okay, ready, yeah. Give them a really good shuffle. I'm going to slice of hand proof the cards, so even if I wanted to, I can't do anything sneaky at all. Now, I sent some doubt in the room as to the validity of my app, but I've got a way to prove it to you guys. I'm going to ring a couple of showbiz icons that we all know, but I'll ring them from a very long time ago. <laughs> Sorry, guys, do you want to scare you? My name's Noel. I'm calling from the future. Can you introduce yourselves? Hi. My name is Penn, and this is my friend Teller. Neither of us have any idea where the card is. I've got a plan, though. I am going to ring a close personal showbiz friend of mine, but a few months from now. He will have seen this episode of Fool Us. He will know what the card is and where it is in the deck. He's always super helpful. I'll give him a call. Give him my boy! I thought I told you to never call me, no. Yeah, don't be like that. You know what? I've got a better idea. I'm here today on Fool Us, so if I ring myself in the future, then future me will know what the playing card is, and I can ask him what position it was in the deck. Makes perfect sense. I'll ring myself in the future. What is it now? What was the card? The card? Yes. Four of hearts. Right. And what's the position? What? Six in the deck. Good Six. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, did you by any chance pick the four of hearts? Yes. So future me, <laughs> future me got that right. And he said it was at position six. Now, you shuffled the cards. You put them into the box. I haven't touched them. One, two, three, four. Stop. OK, so when we deal the next card, that'll be the fifth card. Mm -hmm. And the sixth card, we're going to see whether it's right or not. Can I get you to carry on? Same pile? Yeah, same pile, yep. Yeah. Oh, next... my God. <laughs> You've got to be joking me. Future me, you as the four of hearts in the sixth position. I'm going to go before my actions end up deleting Penn and Teller from history. I'm out of time. Good night. This is Noel Coulter's method for his performance on Pen and Teller. I'm not going to put all that on here, but do go and watch it. Just Google or you know YouTube search uh, Noel Coulter Pen and Teller, and it's great. And on the, the Sunday service, Pen said, which is Pen Gillette's podcast. I've got the right what it's called, doesn't it? Pen Gillette's podcast. They talked about it the next day, and it said one of the or the next uh, show after the gig. Uh, one of the greatest methods I've ever seen, and he did talk about that, and it's it's great. And it is a brilliant method, but does a good method make a good trick? Well, not always, but you know, it, I think I've talked about how when we love our methods, and we and we sort of trans communicate that, it's it's kind of people can feel it, you know. So I think that liking our methods is very important. If we enjoy doing them because of how they're done, we kind of telegraph that. And Noel Court is a very creative person, and I've been a big fan for a long time. And he's a friend. Okay, so you know, transparency. He's a mate of mine, I get on really well, um, which is kind of why I wanted to do this, not just because he's a mate, because I would not ever review something from a friend that I didn't really think was great. But there is a couple of little caveats in that. This isn't something that's going to be mass produced. It's not something that everybody's going to want. It's not something that fulfills all those criteria, the tricks, you know, easy, yes, it is easy. Uh, self-working, no angles, all those things. It's a different kind of thing. You're not really buying that. What you're buying is the creativity, 
the inspiration and the method, because it is a usable method, that is different from most things you've probably seen. Now, if you watch that performance, I was there were, I had an idea, but I was very wrong about how this was done, completely wrong. So it's really, really clever. It's a kind of, I'm not going to go into it, but kind of any card, any number, but with all this lovely stuff built in. But it's all there for a reason, not just for comedy value. So this is a kind of exercise in creativity. And when I said it's not for everybody, this is a high price product. OK, it's like 100 quid. He, he doesn't want hundreds of people out there doing this. So, you know, it's, there's not even a website for it. You get this by emailing him. There might be at some point or buying it off him at his lectures. Um, and he's in no, in, not interested in kind of getting people to spend the money and for them to take it home and be like, oh. Um, so he's, you know, he wants to be honest about what it is. So I'll just read out the, uh, the first bit. Thanks very much for purchasing this booklet and your interest in learning more about Wizard, a trick I have spent nearly a decade perfecting, which for Penn and Teller, I'm incredibly proud of this routine and my performance on Fallers, and I'm excited to finally be able to share it. Uh, my thoughts on performing it as well as some other approaches that I've never shared with anybody. And that is true. He also says in one part of the book, you'll never perform my full love routine in exactly the same way as I did. I wouldn't want you to, and it's far better to find your own voice. But I think there are important lessons to be learned in construction from it. And there really is. What Noel's very good at is taking sort of simple ideas. And when you read this, you go, it's just great. There's kind of this delayed thing in it, which you just think it's, it's really clever and making sure that he can perform them under pressure. Now, so this is a sleight of hand free routine. There's no sleight of hand in this. There's some arts and craft, which is about three minutes, and there's just a really, really clever method. And he goes into detail about everything. So at one point, he puts the glass over the box, um, over the box of card box, cards, deck of cards, and, uh, and he says what the best glass is to use, you know, the idea of putting elastic bands, why you would do that. So there's always a why, 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 why you got all that. And I think if you study this book, not just flick through it, there will be versions of this that you will go, I could do that. There's an impromptu version, which I think is actually really good that you can do with a borrowed deck when you know what card the number is at. And, and it's, um, I, when I read it, I was kind of delighted reading it. But I did think, and this is the caveat, I thought this isn't going to be for everybody. And that's kind of why I've made this review, really. So if, you, if you're interested in this stuff, if you're interested in something that isn't going to be available everywhere, you know, he even says... Um, uh, all rights reserved, etc. All copies of this manuscript are individually marked with open and hidden markings should ever, any particular copy of Wizard or any of the contents arrive. So have a look at the, the, um, the Penn and Teller performance. If you want to delve deep in, as Penn Gillette says, one of the greatest methods he's ever seen, then this is the only way you're going to get it. And uh, if you do get it, you know, I don't usually say this sort of stuff, but kind of keep it to yourself. Don't share it with everybody because I think it's it's lovely that we still keep this kind of this old school kind of stuff going on. And I know, you know, I don't get really offended at some exposure on YouTube that people do. It's just the way it is now. But with things like this, that Noel is sort of, it's kind of his baby. He's worked on it and he's done it. And he's, as he said, he, it, he's kind of, he doesn't want it all out there. I think we should respect that. So some of you are going to look and go, 100 quid for that, for a book? And you go, fine, don't buy it. But for those of you that just want that thing, um, and you want to get inspired by it, which I have been, and I've looked at this and go, well, how can I use that same method in other ways? I think it'll be, it'll be a good investment. Uh, so that's um, Wizard, WZRD by Noel Quarter. Thank you very much. It is just available by emailing him, and that'll be, well, it's just Noel at NoelQuarter.com, I think, but I'll also put that below. Please like and subscribe, uh, comments below, and check out onlinemagic.co now.